Remember the last time I did this live thing? It like didn't start as soon as I did. So I'm just gonna give it like 30 more seconds maybe. Yeah. Okay. Three. Two. That was 30 seconds. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan and we're back with Burn Ash Gaming doing that shit we used to do. It's been a while. I'm honestly doing great. Today I bring to you uh, Control, which is honestly the weirdest fucking game I've played so far. It's almost like... Oh my. Uh, it's almost like SCP Foundation, if any of you guys have played that shit. Oh my god. Okay, so basically this guy has to stare at this refrigerator because if not, it'll deviate and do some dangerous shit that might kill humanity. So, yeah. Okay. I've been doing this for a while now. Now I just need the motivation. If I put it, like, out there, I feel like that would make me feel better. Oh, god damn it. He never had to subdue a refrigerator in my entire life, but that's okay. I will certainly do that. Number sign, number sign, number sign, forward slash, forward slash. Can't understand it. That looks like my penis. That was semi-impressive, but I think I'm still doing right. Oh damn. Still doing whack. So basically, you're playing as this uh, uh, female. <laughs> this woman who has uh, come to this facility called the FBC, which I believe stands for the uh, Federal Bureau of Control. And she's come in search of her, oh crap, long lost brother, who I guess was taken from her as a small child. So now she is on the hunt for whoever may have taken her brother. And I just ended up stumbling upon this... Oh. <laughs> Christ! Please die. I just... I don't have the stamina for this. Oh, this is frustrating, bro. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try something. I might end up dying, but if I die, it's okay. Okay, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Test one. Okay, that was a good test. Good test. Okay, test two. Okay, okay, that's cool. So what that tells me is I have different ways of defending against this besides just doing that. Ah, <sighs> damn it. So basically how it works is you have like this power. Oh, right. I guess I should start back from where I was in the story. So she comes to this facility looking for her brother under the guise of being like a janitor's assistant or something. Didn't think that was a thing, but hey, money's money. <laughs> but uh, she goes in and she ends up finding <clears throat> the director of the FBC lying on the ground and pool of his own blood with a gun of weird machinations beside him. And she goes to pick up the gun, and the gun immediately puts her through all these trials and tests in like a split second, but it feels like a cool ass minute for her. Like it was five minutes, but she was just chilling in a chair. Uh, I hate this so much. Okay, okay, hold on, let me see if I can upgrade. Let me see if I can upgrade. So basically, she gets this gun here. This, oh, Christ, this gun. And it has a lot of different functions. So basically, this gun can <clears throat> change its form and its, uh, I wouldn't say composite, but its, uh, uh, fire rate? Way of fire? Yes, way of fire. Let's call it the way of fire. <laughs> so the weapon form uh, dictates the way of fire. So I haven't gotten this charge yet, but uh, there's a bunch of different ones. You can only equip about two at a time. 
Uh, right now I'm working with, I believe, uh, Grip and I think I got Pierce on. So let me see, let me see. Do a little bit of fast traveling. There's a whole uh, leveling system. It's not bonkers, I would say, but I just, I'm not good at leveling. I just, I'm, I'm a very even, evenly distributed leveler. I wouldn't go out of my way. <laughs> Okay, hold up, wait, wait. I think I just seen something new that I haven't seen yet. Additional personal mod slot. Ooh. Okay, okay, hold on. We might just we might just blow it. Okay. Okay. These are all twos. Okay, so let's just get some more health because wait. Okay, so energy is what you use basically to um do any sort of Oh, career development um, to do any sort of <clears throat> uh, use of your powers. So basically, let me see. So you're going for a nice little stroll, and suddenly you have to melee a bit, bad bitch. But that's okay. Wow, I just started babbling. Sorry, guys, I'm really high. Uh, <laughs> so the energy basically is used for evading, floating, and anything telekinetic I guess you could say I guess it's all telekinetic and the best part I believe is that the gun really doesn't have like an ammo uh, account but it does need a recharge so you expend all your ammo go ahead and show you what the pierce does the pierce is like a sniper rifle with a little bit of a uh, little bit of kick behind it Let's see I think it okay yeah so it does go off on its own if you just hold it hold it forever I think this controller has a lag up and I'm pissed that's a weapon setup. Let's see. So we're gonna try out the put on spin, and I'll put on shatter. So I'll show you spin first. Spin basically turns it into semi-automatic, so you get that. Whereas the uh, shatter is gonna end up using it like a shotgun. I thought that was a cleaver in there. I was like, dang, I'm finna go to town, bro. All right, so uh, yeah, that's basically how that works. Um, ability wise it's very simple um, I said the uh, energy is used for floating but it's actually not that's one of the things that thank goodness you can do without using energy because everything else takes so much goddamn energy so you basically have uh, an evade for uh, uh, counter maneuvers it's pretty far it's about I don't know like three game feet four game feet I don't know and then you have uh, your telekinetic powers, able to lift things and throw them at your will. Very effective, very effective in combat. Uh, you also have a rock shield, which I was using earlier, trying to see about that um, in terms of defense. I don't use it too often, just because it does deteriorate, and I was using it once, and I thought I was taking damage, so it seemed kind of pointless, but shit kind of fire. Another cool feature about this game is that how uh, it basically... What the what? Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was my fault. I, I did that to myself. Um, another cool feature about this game is how um. Shit. If I could freaking remember after that shit. Oh yeah. If you don't have anything in your vicinity to throw, like, if there's nothing like in the room for you to throw. Hold on. Let me get over here. Okay. So. That box is un unmovable, immovable, immovable object. Uh, I don't think I have any reach on anything besides that. So let me just go ahead and throw it out of hell. Yeah, so I have no reach on anything. So if you have nothing in your area that seems throwable, literally it will just pick something up off the ground from anywhere you are. Like, that literally probably came out of the back wall or something. I don't even know. Uh, that one might have been a little, little faulty. Okay, well that makes sense, but I don't even know what I'm holding. See, like sometimes it's just, just like supposed to be here. I'm not even sure. Oh crap! Okay, that's cool too. I didn't want to do anything cooler anyway. The float doesn't go really high, but it does go like decent enough for you to really go anywhere. 
No, they floated up like a whole level for that shit once. Poor Philip, man. So my buddy Philip over here has been watching this fridge for about over a day. The supervisor said, said he has been in here watching it dutifully, unblinking for over a day. And you pussies worried about commitment. If I look away, it hurts me. Man, it killed Philip. God. Long dick. Oh my god, I forgot to take the other ones off. That didn't work. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to switch this shit back. Y'all gonna have me fucked up. Okay, okay, so. This does make things interesting, because I could use pierce and float to get the same desired motherfucking effect. What? He threw three last time? What happened? Ah, oh, shit. So sometimes you'll get, uh, I keep fucking up. Sometimes you'll get, uh, Bureau alerts. Oh, shit going wrong. Fuck you. You're a cunt, dude. You're such a cunt. I hate this guy. Doesn't deserve the air he freaking breathes. Or whatever the hell he breathes. Come on in. Ain't shit. You're just a floaty penis, man. Come on. Yes. I know. I'm great. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was coming from the other way, bro. What the fuck? What, what was I grabbing? What did I grab? <laughs> Baffled, bro. Baffled. Bring your ass. <gasps> Stay, pussy. Oh my god. I'm so upset, bro. I thought I had it in the bag. Oh my god. <sighs> this man might get left. I might just leave him in here to die. He might be in here a couple more days. I just, I cannot no more. I have, I, this is like the fifth attempt. <laughs> and I don't really know Philip that well. He really just kind of yelled at me from inside his little room. Didn't even care to look me in the eye. Like, disrespectful ass. <laughs> uh, fuck this dude. Fuck the falling damage. I need to worry about how not to fall, period. Alright, I'm gonna test something in that elevator. Because I got that whole shaft. Hmm. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can fall like half, like just the smallest amount and see if I can come back from it. Because that sounds. That's why. That's gonna make me wanna cry. Okay, so that's fine though. Because now, I'm just gonna say fuck it. Hello? What are you gonna do? Sue me? I'm back. I don't even have to I'm press that here. goddamn button, bro. I just keep pressing it. The fridge is doing something. I'm gonna try attacking the fridge. Philip? Well, I mean, I attacked it. Didn't do much though. The last train shit gone. It hurts me. Here's my thought though. Why don't you just blink one eye at a time? You say that sounds stupid, but I think it sounds genius. <laughs> this sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. I was doing something though. Come on, baby. Ugh. 
Come on. Throw these hands. You ain't shit, cuz. Let's go. Oh. My. Ugo. <laughs> Type shit. What? what did I grab? Oh my gosh. I am being robbed. <laughs> As my buddy Tyler likes to say, I'm being robbed. What, 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 what? <laughs> okay, I got a couple health points over here, bro. I'm just going to swing it. There you go. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, man. Ah. I'm really trying to hear y'all. Come on. Catching nothing but dubs. There ain't nothing but. <laughs> I just wanted the dub. I just wanted to get my nigga Philip out. But he ain't coming back. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. Pissing me the hell off. Just die. Just go. <laughs> Carry on my wayward son. <sighs> oh, man. All right, y'all. At this moment in time, I'm hitting my pen. So if you have any sort of smoking apparatus, I don't care if it's regular weed, I don't care if it's smoking crack, hit something. <laughs> I take that back, I don't condone crack. die on its own I'm just trying to take the dub and go home fuck you Philip you don't even, you don't even get to know it's fucking Kevin oh yeah and also you can change shoulders which I think is highly impressive most games don't think about that shit only other game I've seen that in is Metal Gear and that shit's amazing Cause like think about it, you ever tried to like shoot around a corner? Like you're shooting like this when you could switch and be shooting like this. Oh, maybe that's why it doesn't matter. Where'd you go? Oh shit. Right there in front of the pillar. Okay, well I got a system now, so <sighs> Who's Papa now? Who's making them big whops now? All right, now, testing another theory. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! Okay, okay. Good theory. Good theory. Just need to move quicker. <gasps> okay, yes. That's the one. That's the move. Bring your ass. I may have fucked up. I may have fucked up. I gotta go. Fuck. That'll be cool. Okay. Kicking ass. I'm kicking ass, bro. I'm taking the name. What's your name, boss? What's your name, cuz? Bring your shit. Oh, here you go. Shit. Oh. This is gonna be tough. He starts throwing three swings instead, and then it's just like haymakers, bro. I don't understand. Hide behind this goddamn rock. 
Oh, do you want me to take you out like this now? Oh my gosh, this is wild. He's gonna tear this bitch down. <laughs> I ain't never. I'm gonna just let you tear up this spot right here, homeboy. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna stop though? Nope, it's onslaughts. It's not onslaughts. Okay, okay, this is that. Oh. Oh. Go, go, baby, go. Okay, go, go, get, get that shit, get that shit, get that shit. Eat it up, eat it up. She gonna eat it up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is ridiculous stuff. Ugh, this shit made me want to pee myself, bro. Like, she like, bitch, I'm there. here oh my god the that shit's fixed did fighting that thing off change something oh my gosh this is this is manic I hate it like what was that <laughs> like I don't understand Ugh. Gross. Gross. okay it's just quick bro I tell you what, it's just because they're like literally a couple floors across, so it's like literally just sending them to a different spot. I think it's like maybe two floors down. Okay. Oh, Christ, I think this is the right way. I don't even fucking know, dude. Oh my god. No, 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 this isn't the right way. This isn't the right way at all. This isn't the right way at all. You go to fire break. Okay, so these guys are a doozy because they can dodge most bullets. Oh my god. They can dodge when you're throwing projectiles, so you have to shoot at them. And it's hard because they have the shield. Oh shit. Okay, 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 let's just kill him. Let's just kill him. Let's just kill him. What? What? Where are you at, cuz? Throw these hands! Throw these hands! You ain't shit, blood! I'm going. No. <laughs> the worst part, man, they come in waves sometimes, so it's like, uh, I like that too. I just can't even tell. It's just horrible. Oh my goodness. I'm not like horrible. Like the game is great. It's just, uh, I, I'm not. Uh, it's just, you know, I'm scared, man. It's, uh. The sudden stop hits theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey. Press same. I feel you. Dang. Go. Alex Casey. Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get back. Poor Philip. You didn't even know Philip. Philip. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This 
thing was in there. It was huge. Had one big eye. Was it from We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Oh my god, no. Entities in the astral plane. Imagine that shit. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, uh. right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I don't trust this dude. But it's cool. Later, Langston's runaways. Are you telling me he's just letting these things run amok in my kitchen? Come on, cuz. What? What were those? Cleanse and contain the traffic light, the hand chair, and the moving letters. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'll go for it. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Oh, you're so stupid. Like, what was that? Like, get it? 69? Like, the fuck? Like, I get... Ugh. And the Japanese paper lantern. Like, these are just... This reminds me a lot of, like, the SCP Foundation. Like, the back rooms. Like, this is all, like, some ethereal type shit. And so he mentioned, um... So where do I even find the traffic light? I don't understand. That's the worst part, is they don't give you, like, clear directions. It's just, like, knots in this area. Good luck. It's like, oh, great. Do I have... What level clearance do I have? Hold on. So as the game progresses, you slowly get a uh, higher clearance level. Currently, I'm level 5, which doesn't make a difference when it's 4 to 6. See, like, what is this? Bruh. Hmm. I forgot about seizing. So I met this TV, right? <laughs> and I got this power. They literally lets me turn the enemy against themselves. So as you can tell, I've currently made some new friends. They're my homies. Oh, get in range, you loser. Oh, get in range, you loser. Leave me alone. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> See, be that shit. Ruin your life, huh? Lay the fuck down, guys. I'm literally coming over here just to grab this stuff. Can I not grab these? Oh my god. So, you have a set... Does anybody else see that that says weapon mods 25 out of 24? Like, why do I have one extra more than I should? <laughs> the world may never know. But, uh, so you can get different mods for your weapons. I basically give you a bunch of different shits. Honestly. Um. And they come in different levels and forms. I usually try to keep my top ones. I guess I'll keep those two because they're three and four. But, ugh. These are pretty nice, actually. It's pretty, it's pretty satisfying, I'll tell you what. 
guys, uh, you guys come here often or just uh, just here for the for the ride for the view? <laughs> Honestly, I hate doing this shit. I wish they could just clear it out for me. Like, does it not make sense that I would only want certain things? Okay, so we are in the Panopticon, right? So if I go to anywhere else, it will not be in the Panopticon. Now, but you son of a bitch. Go to, no! <laughs> it was my own tomfoolery. My own ridiculousness was my demise. And that's okay, that's fine, it's cool. Ah, oh, crap. Poop. Okay. Bright side? Shouldn't have to fight anybody. In fact, I'm going downstairs, so they shouldn't even spawn. That, that sounds like some science. Okay, so, they say something about it being in the Panopticon. I am in the Panopticon. So, inside of the Panopticon is supposed to be a lantern that I can do battle with. However... Said lantern has not shown himself. Uh, God damn. So, I guess this whole thing is a panopticon, right? So, if I just went up. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. That sounds like science. That sounds fire. We're just gonna do that. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, I thought she was just gonna go. I thought she was just going. Like, fuck it. No. Why do I hear breathing? Like, that isn't my breathing. Okay, okay, so, if I look at, because there's one room in this direction, which I'm thinking is either that door, or it might be a little higher, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so there's another one, so I'm assuming that that's the way I'm supposed to be getting to all these floors. Um, let me see, I'm going to do a quick look through my collectibles, because I usually do have some decent information on this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna see if it says anything about a Japanese lantern. I don't see the word Japanese lantern though. Huh, does, if you see the word Japanese lantern, put it in the comments. Nope. Well, this sucks. Um. Oh, very cool thing. Okay, so I guess I should explain this as well. Basically, so everything is... Is that it down there? Ooh, that's something, though. We're heading that way. But, um, so basically, um, this gun that I have, uh, it's called the service weapon, if you haven't noticed by now. But <clears throat> the service weapon is basically a object of power. And objects of power are basically... I keep saying basically. Uh, they're objects that transcend our reality. I guess that's the best way to put it. So, um, 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 oh, I should have gotten my paperwork together beforehand. Trust me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I know what I'm doing. Okay, trust me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm real, I'm real learned in this stuff. Non-official. Maybe I'm not too learned in this stuff. Okay, but, um, para utilitarians? What the fuck? Um, but basically, the service we weapon is an object of power, and objects of power are um, objects that can exist in this reality along with others and transcend our 1964, sweet Christ, transcend our uh, way of thinking and our dimensions and yada yada yada. So, you know, the service weapon, as you can already tell, is basically uh, a 
weapon <laughs> uh, capable of a lot of different um, forms for many different um, uh, 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 situations. You see what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, basically these objects of power are going to be things that are everyday things that give you special abilities, period. <laughs> I guess that, I mean, I, I, that's, that's about it. But I say that to talk about the hotline, which is an object that lets me talk to uh, past directors. So the service weapon can only be handled by uh, directors. I don't know if it specifically says in there, and a director is somebody who uh, controls and uh, manages the FBC. So basically when she came here and found the director dead, she took the gun and it put her through her t tests and trials and was like, okay, so you're gonna be, you're gonna be it. You are the one. Okay, I think I'm getting close though. I think I'm getting close. It literally, oh thank God. I was like, if this door doesn't fucking open, I'm literally just gonna like die. Hate these doors. Because one closes and then the other one opens. This shit. Come on. Oh. Oh my god. Before we even get into it, <laughs> before we even get into it, bro. Uh, it sucks that all this shit keeps popping up. I don't even remember what these damn things are called. It's some weird form of entity, but I don't know what they're called. Okay, well, we're just going to go into it. Like, it's... I guess one of the bad guys. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm getting somewhere. His cluster. Demolition. That thing. This thing. Yeah, okay. Okay. What? What? Well, oh. Man, I wish I remembered what these hoes were called. But basically, these... Oh, God. I'm waiting for it to come into view if it is what... The, yep. Okay, so... Look all the way down there. It's a motherfucking ball of, like, matter that just keeps moving and, for some reason, making light. Like, they're not even explained or studied because, like, you can't even destroy them. They're just for, like, sneaking around. This is not going to be fun. Christ, I was just looking for a lantern, cuz. That'll work. I can get away from him. Because, like, you don't have to, like, fight everything, per se. Like, I know, like, you know, you really should. Like, if they come through that door, I will have to fight them. But I was avoiding that big motherfucker. I was not fucking with it. No siree. They can shoot all they want this direction. I ain't even here. Bro, was there supposed to be something in archives, or was I just supposed to show up here and, like, not find anything? It doesn't... It doesn't sound like they're fighting me. Are they? 
Oh no, they're fighting it, but they can't kill it because it indestructible. It's doing slight damage. I think I'm just gonna let that run its course while I sneak around up upstairs. Because they don't know I'm here and that gives me an opportunity to look around. See, but this sucks because I know that it's not in here because this isn't the Panopticon. It's the freaking. Is that. No, but that might be something though. Again, looking for the Japanese paper lantern. Yeah, no, they definitely didn't take it out. Nah, that sucker's still going. As long as that light is flashing, they ain't done shit. <laughs> oh, is that a recording I can play? No. You can play certain recordings. I guess some of them are just for fucking show. See, they keep telling me about these, but I really don't have the time, and I keep dying every time I do them, so... What do you think that means? <laughs> Oh, Christ. Okay. I have only heard of this. I have not even seen one. It's probably not the time to be watching TV, but we're watching TV. Fuck it. I don't even know what they really talk about. Star Captain Hee Haw? Nigga, what? See if they actually like get to watch. Yeah, I guess it was safe. Whatever. Damn, y'all have to fuck it up, bro. Don't y'all come after me, bro. I've been up here chilling. Don't you dare come after. Don't you dare come after me. The audacity. You thought I was going to be played? I hate that shit. No! I'm finna die! Alright, I gotta keep my guard. Oh my goodness. Fuck a guard. Damn. It's gonna start me back from either. That's the worst part. It's just gonna be from somewhere. Oh my god. Mr. Elevator was just moving. Well, I know it's not in archives, and I've just now gotten everything out of archives, so. Go me. Oh yeah, this seems like a place to be hiding an object of power. Or, oh wait, no, these aren't objects of power, these are, um, altered items. 
um, altered items are basically like objects of power, except they're like low level in comparison. They've just, you know, it's ba it's literally just the same thing, just more items that have power, except they were altered by objects of power, <laughs> which makes them special? Question mark. I don't even know, bro. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna keep going up. Can I go up farther? Oh, Christ, I can keep going up. Yo, wait, what? I feel like I'm not even that far. But I think level 5 is where they keep the prisoners. Oh, there's an elevator. I just decided to use it. I'm so sorry. I'm horrible like that. I, mean, I guess I could just try and run around, but, like, what's... Twisted Passage. Beep. No, 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 no. What do you mean, Twisted Passage? All right, ho. Oh, my God. That must be one of the missing ones. Oh. It's the, it's the traffic light in the Panopticon. So what the hell? What is wrong with me? I was looking for the Japanese paper lantern in the Panopticon when it clearly says the Japanese paper lantern is in the sealed threshold hall. I'm tired. I see this shit, though. I see you. I see you with the shits, guys. Let's go. Yeah, I'm all about that shit. What? What? Oh, what? Oh, it literally just sends you back. How did I get back here? You wild. This is the most bullshit game. What? What you mean? What is this thing's deal? Oh, I want to go now. Alright, there I go, I'm right here. What? Yo. How is he doing that? I'ma shoot you. <laughs> It's just barely. You got to be there before it even tries. Come on, Jesse. Figure it out. It's not hard. It's just you really got to be patient with the shit, I guess. So I can imagine. Ah. Uh. Dang, it's just, it's right there. <sighs> Jordan, you just gotta slow down, bro.
Sorry, that took so much out of me, just like processing. Ah, oh, Christ. Like, it wasn't hard, it's just like, it's hard. <laughs> I don't even know where it's at, so I can't tell where the bean coming from. Is it right here? The fuck? What's going on, bro? Maybe, maybe I can be in the light. I just need to stop. Let me try that. Oh yeah, I just need to stop moving. Chuleho. <laughs> Man, and sometimes it's really cool because whenever they, uh, whenever you cleanse some of these items or some of these areas, some of the shit swirls back into place and you just see shit like open up, it turns back into a regular building. And it's like, wow, it's pretty lit. <laughs> the hand chair? What's a hand chair? I ain't never in my days. On the bright side, though, found it, got it, we out. And we out this mug. Ugh. Sorry, texting a pretty lady. <laughs> okay, so they spawned below me. Um, I'm trying to get to the medical wing, so I'm going to go. They didn't spawn below me. Good. Get the ass, cuz. about you. I'm already gone. Yeah. Trying to investigate this floor real quick before we go anywhere. Oh? Oh, I thought the door was open too. I was like, dang, I'm going in. What's up with the apps of constructs? Let's see. Upgrade the grip, reconstruct the charge. I'm construct the charge. And I believe the charge is like uh almost like a rocket launcher. We're gonna find out though. Let me see, let me see, let me see. My basic enemies when their health is low. Ah uh, yeah, I'll give that a shot. Wait, hold on now, hold on now. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Milestone rewards. I already got all the milestone rewards. Yeah, I'll kind of suck.
Can I make the other ones? No. You whack. So I dig. All right. So now the medical wing is back through security. I should be able to find my way in that way. And then the other one, I know where to find Dead Letters. Dead Letters is actually a really interesting place. It's like right next to the mail room. And the mail room is also on some fuck shit. <laughs> yeah, it'd be faster if I just went through this way. Back out with my Glock out, doing shit I like to talk about. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, some bitch. Okay. Right, if I just don't move, maybe nothing will spawn. Nope, they're spawning. Get the get the on, bro. Get the fuck on. Okay, I don't want your shit. <laughs> oh my god. I am shit faced. What is going on? Why? What did I do? Let's see what this new thing do. Let's need new, new let's new with this neat C thing do. Uh, let's see what this charge thing does, man. What? Oh my god! I could do some damage like that. I need peace in the village, please. Enjoy to shut the hell up. Come on somewhere. <laughs> Who else need the smoke? Come on, bro. Y'all gonna get out the way. Dang. Almost made me drop my croissant. <laughs> Medical wing, so we can go get that goddamn hand chair. Oh, oh, I'm at the wrong house. <laughs> nah. That don't sound well. Demon of the con. I don't think I can go in there. I don't even want to. What is going on over there? Can I go down here? What in the heck is that? That's a kooky cuz what the hell? Hey, y'all really gonna make me run through here, huh?
see, well, here's the thing now. Is is that the answer? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, sir. I cannot, yo. Okay. Okay. We'll just act like that was cool. What is this, bro? What is that? Oh, it's like a pool or a shower or something. Like, not even like the ooh, I'm scared type shit. It's like, ooh, this shit's really fucked up type shit. Like, I ain't never. Prime candidate program, transit corridor. Yeah, let's just go. I don't know what's in the box, but let me get it. Some paperwork about globe procedures. Level six. Y'all gonna be pissed. Y'all gonna piss me off. All right, so I should yeah, so I should be able to get through here. What is this? Oh, video. Uh, I'm gonna play it over the thing because it'll probably be much louder. And I am down to watch lore. Son of a bitch. I don't know which one they were talking about. Oh, the oldest house, right? That sounds like ten times louder. <laughs> August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. Seemingly adhering to its... Altered world event. ...constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's unstable. Shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated classified top secret operation so imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the bureau as a whole nice nice um so he says something about control points so uh, those little spots where I get to fast travel and uh, do upgrades and stuff like that. Those are control points, which basically, the way of explaining it is, it's um, a way of keeping the oldest house, which is this building we're in, the FBC main building. It's a way of keeping it uh, in the state it's in. So, you know, setting up permanent points keeps it in a permanent position of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this was not the room. Didn't I just, like, stop fighting people? Like, didn't that, like, just end recently? Okay, I got one more spot, and then I'm just gonna, like, give up and go. Ooh. Yeah, of course, it's in a bunker. Thank goodness! Who said I want you in here, cuzzo? Fun fact, this will do nothing besides just let me sit in here for like a couple more seconds. Um, I will obviously have to come back to this whenever I'm level 6 or above.
or have level six clearance. Um, I might go back through logistics and check over in that direction because it looks like there might be a door or something there. But that's about the best I can do. And then I'll just take the teleporter back to the main floor and we can continue the main mission. What in the hell is that? Is that for me? No. No. You're, you're bullshitting, bro. No. Then, then what was that? Is that this? It's sticky, too? It's not that. It must have been that object or whatever because that's very square like I know it's like flat technically but like that's very square like it even reflects differently off of the things but it's like legitimately just flat that's impressive how you do that Like really laggy. I downloaded it so it wouldn't do that. Bring it on, you bitch. You know what? Get his ass, Timmy. I'm coming up here with you. Come on, bring your ass. Shut your ass up. Just tore his ass out the sky, by the way. Oh my god. What do I do with him? Gone somewhere. What? They said a what? Where? Because, like, I'm not opposed to doing these things. It's just sometimes they be fucking far. Alright, so we're going to go down this way. Hopefully, I don't get attacked again. Fuck, I'm fucking wood. Okay, I'm just going to creep. Just because I don't want to get attacked again. I don't know why this came on everything. See, this is going to be a good day. Oh my god, I'm getting somewhere. I've got to be. Like, I've got to be, right? That literally... Well, damn. I mean, it literally would have been out here and to the right. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's one underneath this, so. Alright. So bound and determined, I, I like I believe. It's just a shelter room. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm going back. This is point. Son of a. Son of a. Son. Son. Son of. A, no. No. If I get in fast enough. Fast travel. <laughs> you can't stop me, goddammit. Okay, so they said it was in parapsychology, so I'm just gonna go straight there. And if I die, I die, but otherwise, they get the chance to fight. Mano y mano. Por que y por que. I think that was why or why.
Okay. Usually it would just it would go straight in. So I'm going to parapsychology. I'm in parapsychology. Oh. It really could like be anywhere. It wouldn't be like right on a control point, but it would be like right down like a couple feet literally. It could be like right in here. Is that it? Those aren't any. So what's the deal then? Ah. I got my shit. You thought trying to kill my men? No. Director business. Secure the area, and it, but it ain't even all the way secure. Oh, it's it's on a time thing. Okay, well, I can't wait. <laughs> I can stand here and act like we're like legitimately doing some shit. That's pretty nifty. Did I not go to the hypnosis lab? Why the fuck not? Bitch. I'm gonna check it out real quick. Just, I'm just gonna peek. I don't think I've been this way. But it's okay. We got shit we gotta do. Gotta get this done. That shit blinking red. What's wrong? Where's he at, guys? Exactly. Yeah, I shit. Okay, so, um, I think I'll see about doing moving letters, but I don't think it'll do me too much good. Okay, so, okay, there's the thing. So I think they should be pretty close. The, uh, main mission in this one because I can't get to I can't get all the way to wherever the fuck that is so oh yeah central executive and dead letters baby yeah so I just walk through the cafeteria and make my way down making my way through the town walking fast bad but just want to know how I last da -da 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 -da. oh my goodness
That's no normal piece of paper. What a piece of paper? Is that what that? No, that's a light, but that's not a regular piece of paper. Okay. We need to know where it's at. Oh, paperwork. You son of a bitch. I just did. Yeah. We need to find the other pages. There's a bunch of paperwork I missed. Paperwork, dead presidents. I know about those. You know what I'm saying? We got always got a dead president. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, did I miss the TV? Nah, I already found that shit. Let's see, where in the hell have I not... That's a level 2 door? Oh my god. I just need to go all the way back through, I guess. This better be some great paperwork. Fake planes. This better have something to do with 9-11 or some weird shit, bro. Like, it better tell me some real shit. Like, some real life shit. Maybe I need a flop? I mean, I'll give it a shot. Let's go. Ha ha. Stink ass hoes. Well, there was one. I'm going to see. It looks like there might be like three. I think there's a whole lot of stairs. No one was meant to be up here, I don't think. Bitch, that sounded like breathing once again. What is that? Some cool shit was happening. The lights just smoking. Vivid dreams. I have these vivid dreams where I can't see my tingling. Our whereabouts unknown. Hope. I got it. It's gonna end up here at some point. I know, that shit fire. Just imagine you can jump off of something and just float down. This is like psycho, you thought.
Alright, cool. That was swell. Now let's see how quickly it can send us from over here to literally like two rooms over. Loading screen? Oh, that sucks. That's unfortunate that they thought they needed a loading screen for that shit. come to face the enemy as I go back to Central Intelligence to figure out why in the hell my brother is so goddamn weird. What's going on? I, why did I speak to you? And what's this coin for? <laughs> There's a lot going on. This is this is all mission stuff. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. It's another mission. That Ugly fuck. Jukebox. The little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. They're bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope. Just the one record. And be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? Which one's that? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau had been wondering that for years. Why does it send you there? Of course, that would be a, quite the question you'd ask. God knows who, but well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. No one's ever been able to map the physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry. You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation. Checkups, as Alvaro calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. I to think of it. The song should have gone back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Put in the token and enjoy the ride. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Man. Alright, well. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Oh, d d don't. I'll shoot you too. What? What do I need to ask him? Like, besides, like, he is the mission giver. <laughs> like, that's about it. Talk to Emily, face Langston, put on... Oh, face Langston. Alright, well... I'm gonna go talk to my brother. Where that nigga at? What is all this paperwork? Bro, what is going on? I'm gonna read all this shit later. I think what I'll probably do is I'll make like one episode. Like one episode where we just go through and read all that shit in case anybody like really enjoys an encyclopedia as much as I do. Oh my god. It's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. <laughs> Don't even see him in the room, but all right, bit. How is he? <laughs> I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've reported. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. Oh, I Polaris is this weird little shit that's in Jesse's head. In like, whenever she has a little shimmer, that's Polaris, like, showing her presence. She just don't fucking talk. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA worded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Ugh, thank you, madam. I highly appreciate it. Well, guys, that's about all the time I have for this video. If you liked it, uh, make sure to let me know. Follow me on Facebook. That's Jordan Ogden. And uh, I guess I'll be posting there whenever I decide to make new videos. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.